Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. You look at me like I'm crazy. We are out doing errands this morning. We have the Tesla again and Lee is loving driving it. Love this thing. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. We've been pretty electric at the moment. We've been running the uh, electric tender motor. Yeah. Now we've got electric car. Yes. We've got electric bikes. And we've been using electric skateboards. We've actually been... So the whole time we've been in San Diego, we haven't actually bought any fuel. We've just been using our solar panels and our Dakota lithium batteries to charge up all of our other batteries. So we've been pretty green and I'm actually really liking it. And um, as far as the outboard goes, or well, the electric engine outboard, whatever you want to call it, I really like it. It obviously wouldn't suit all of our activities, but to have as a uh, auxiliary motor on a on your for your tender, I think it's great. It's so light, so easy. Yeah, just going back and forth to shore like we've been doing here. It's so easy, and pulling up the tender at night it's so easy and light. Today we are running some errands. We're going to get some gas bottles that we have in back in test because they're really old, and um, maybe go to a, a material shop. An Asian grocer, see if we can find some rice that's cheaper than in the shop for like a bigger bag. There's a few little things, so we're just gonna run around this morning. So yeah, Angela kindly let us use a car. So we are stoked, it's cold again. We had some beautiful, the last couple of days have been so nice, the weather was so nice, but it's a bit windy and cooler today. That's it, last night, oh my God, we got back. Um, we left our boat tied up to a friend's boat in the marina and so we're walking back through the marina and that <laughs> Whoa It's like That's... a big kid. Even the set put your foot down when you get on the highway. She did. <laughs> you could warn me before you do it. Um, but we saw this seal, like one of the boats had a blue light at the back of the... I'm ready now. <laughs> you put your foot down in this thing and it literally, it feels like a roller coaster. It is so cool. If I was on the land now, I reckon I'd buy one. It's awesome. Well, hopefully right. we're not going back to the land, but uh, we... Oh, so that walking through the, back through the marina, the boats had like a blue light of water in the water. And there was like fish. We can see the fish getting chased by something. And then next minute, a seal pops his head up. There's these two seals in there feeding. And it was so cool to see. And um, yeah, it was like, it's the right moment, the right time we walked past and there's some seals playing. And... Hi. Oh, <laughs> you just had to show his teeth. You can only look at a seal for so long. Oh, it looks like it's <laughs> so cute. He came up and looked at us. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did he get one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> he just came and stared at my face. <laughs> He doesn't appreciate being filmed. First stop is an Asian grocer. I just can't believe how little uh, products or how expensive products are in the supermarkets here. Um, just like simple like rice noodles and things that we kind of live on. noodles? Yeah, what, they're like- Seven dollars in San Diego. Yeah, US. <laughs> so expensive. Anyway, so we thought we'd, um, while we've got a car, we're going to the Asian grocer. So we're gonna go and see if we can find some of our favorite things in there. Maybe a big bag of rice. Yeah. <laughs> just to stock up the boat. Wow, uh, that grocery store, the Asian grocers, was so good. I got like coconut cream they used to buy in Indonesia and Asia and all these noodles so cheap and uh, my favourite curry paste. So good, it was so worthwhile. And um, if you come to San Diego, you're in America, don't buy your rice or don't buy any Asian stuff from the supermarkets. It's so expensive, but the Asian grocery, find one and buy your stuff from there. He's loving this car, but he's driving a little too fast. He's not, it just accelerates really fast. He's, he's a really safe driver. Angela, he's driving very safe. So 
So we're leaving in a couple of days. San Diego is finally putting on some gorgeous weather. We have two spinnakers on board. We're not sure what kind of spinnakers. We've never flown a spinnak before. So we've been sailing for a long time, but we don't classify ourselves as sailors. We don't really know what we're doing. Leah's got one of the spinnakers up the front. I, I fell in love with your colors. They kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it. There's something different about oh, I've got no idea. Never <laughs> flown one, never even looked at one. Oh, it's pretty. Manage that? I think so. I think so? I think we'll get it. Just need a couple of more. That's pretty straightforward. It was such a beautiful day, we went for a ride. A few days later, we had the use of our friend Max's car. Max's so we took advantage to do some provisioning. And we're going to get a, some surfboards. Yeah. We are at Disco's Paddle Surf Shop in San Diego, right on the bay. Um, come on down here and check him out. You can rent boards, you can buy boards. And um, he's helped us out with the board today and we're super stoked. So thanks, Eric. And there's heaps of rad stuff in here. So if you're in San Diego, come and check him out. He's a super cool guy. Our friend Terry put us in touch with Eric and Saltwater Fix owner Karina. They kindly hooked the kids up with some secondhand surfboards each. We are so stoked because now we all have boards and are ready for Mexico. And we're gonna head out to the boat and mom and dad are gonna do some other little runarounds while we have the car. Taj and I have come out to the boat with all the groceries and the surfboard, so we've got to unpack. We're nearly ready to head to Mexico. Morning, All right. Okay guys, we've checked out and we've got 48 hours to check out. I think 24 hours by this afternoon. And this is the part we've been waiting for. So it looks like we can depart now. We're still awaiting a sale, which we don't think we're going to get in time. But this was uh, a big priority. Oh, please be right. First box. It was like gold. This thing was expensive. To us it was. Yeah, fly screen roller doesn't work that good. Defender's been really good. They've been pretty efficient and quick with stuff. This was two days to get here from the other side so that's our new motor perfect just hoping the only thing they could have got wrong here was 24 volt but it's right it's a little bit smaller which is perfect because this one's a little bit rounder so it, sh it should fit this one's 30 years old so maxwell's held up for 30 years say if we were in asia someone probably could have rewound it but over here it's just not cost effective way of doing it so this is our new one so we get this in now windless should be good for 
30 years. Uh, we did order a set of brushes and I thought that that was the problem, the brushes, and they were the wrong size brushes and the brushes they sent me were for this size motor. So now we've got spare brushes for the motor anyway. So we're gonna be doing a lot of anchoring. We live on the anchor. We've learned our lesson in the past. I probably shouldn't have even hesitated with this motor. I probably should have just put that aside as a spare and put a brand new one on. It's a big expense, but it's an absolute big pain in the backside when these fail. Yeah, let's get this bad boy in and uh, we're good to roll. One more problem solved, guys. Uh, I've just put an eyelet on here, and I'm gonna make a bridle for our anchor setup. I've just been down and got a couple of thimbles. Splice that on. I'm gonna make another one up, put a loop on the other end, so I can just throw it over. Afternoon job in the cockpit here. We're ready to go with anchor down in Mexico, even if we get strong winds. I've made up a snubber. This is our bridle. I've put two spliced two big eyes on there and then I went and spliced some thimbles onto here. Got myself a big shackle. I was gonna try this hook out. So I sort of like the idea of it. It's a uh, N, N core or what is it? Suncore hook. I don't know it seems pretty solid but simple to go on and I don't think it'd come out too easy so I'm gonna give it a go. What we're gonna run is a snubber. Final hours here in San Diego. How are you feeling? I've got a really sore knee. I'm struggling to walk. I feel really run down. And I've just got to just push through to get out there and put the sails up and go to sleep. We had our last little ride around San Diego. We didn't see or do as much as we would have liked here. Boat work was priority, unfortunately, but we did enjoy our time, the friends we made and the opportunities we had. We will miss this place. So we are leaving for Mexico. And the last last minute job is before we leave tomorrow. Tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? Yeah, I think it's tomorrow or the next day. But the last minute things we're just doing, we are putting up the kitchen roof. So a part of the boat that has been missing for so long that we've wanted to like do is the roof. And as you can see here, this roof is the old roof. So it's like a vinyl type of feel. And then in mine and Taj's room, and a little bit of mum and dad's is like this hard white plastic. And that's what we originally wanted to replace out here in the kitchen. It's just a bit of cheap plywood. I've just put a coat of varnish on it for now and put some down lights in it. We've wired it up. Got a Velcro in the middle where it'll hold up. It's just a temporary thing until we can afford to get nice acrylic that we've got throughout. Well, it's been changed over to a PVC lining instead of See, this is a quite vinyl, ugly. A vinyl, that's like a vinyl uh, over timber. That's gross. That's nice. And this is all right. Some down lights on there. And this is where it's going in the kitchen. Okay, let's do this, chop chop. Can you pass me that torch just there? I'll drag it. Oh, okay, so see that wire first, one I'm just going to join the slide into. So far out of evenness, it's not funny. Okay, shut down this way. It actually doesn't look too bad, it kind of looks like... That's it guys, it's technically up. It, the, there is so much more light. So it looks like daytime down here. 
light. The next job was making fly screens. We've been told the bugs and bees can be a bit of a pain in the Sea of Cortez. So even though the budget was extremely low, we managed to find all we needed at Home Depot and made a screen for each of the hatches for under $13. They aren't exactly perfect, but they will do the job nicely. Thank God. <laughs> a little bit of stress in this one to a different office than what we thought and someone signed for it. Found it. Let's get this on and get out of here. Time has finally come. We have uh, been leaving San Diego for like a week. We picked up our sail today and we are on our, well, we're pulling anchor. So hopefully we head off tonight. The weather isn't looking great. The wind's probably gonna be on the nose and there's kind of mixed swell direction. So I don't know how great it's gonna be, but we're gonna head to Ensenada. Hopefully we'll be there tomorrow. So Leah's pulling anchor and um, we have a new sail, that's very exciting! Thanks to Precision Sails, we're gonna head off! We're leaving America, we're leaving the USA and we are sailing to Mexico once again. And our new adventure on our new boat begins. Delicious mud water to begin our night passage. Nice and relaxed and all the ginger, cinnamon and all of that helps with seasickness for me. Oh, so good, so, so good.